Hi, this is Brad. This is the knife that I just sharpened in under four minutes. Okay, for the thickness of the knife and everything, that's about as good as you're going to get it. But as far as cutting meat and a lot of stuff and slicing the paper like I said I could, same kind of paper, I did it. Now, we're going to take this knife a little bit further. I've got to, actually this time, I'm going to use my Sharpen Spark. Okay, this isn't the Sharpen Spark Mini. This is the Sharpen Spark Original. So you do have the spark in the handle. You've got a reshaper, a sharpener. You do have... A bigger handle, easier to hang on to. I don't know, maybe you're cleaning fish, you got to sharpen your knife, you got fish guts on your hand, maybe you're processing deer, elk, antelope, you know, moose, caribou up in Alaska, grizzly bear, whatever you're doing. You got a little fat and tallow on your hands. If you don't get it off there real good, you may like the, the bigger handle. Okay, and if you're out there too long, you need to fire at night, you take a long little hand sanitizer, get some good kindling, put some spark in it, there you go. But right now, I'm going to show you what it would take to take this knife right here, the butter knife that I just sharpened, a little bit further in I don't know three more minutes something like that and uh, like I say it's hard to find a butter knife that isn't serrated and this one is uh, so let's just go ahead and work on this one about three minutes uh, or less and see what we can accomplish in that time so I don't want my paper to get wet we're gonna put it up here on the plastic okay and we got to wake the foam back up because it went to sleep like it is supposed to okay and we slide it there we open it up we got our starter Okay, and the only reason I do this, I just want to try to make sure I stay three minutes or less. All right, so go on the timer, and we draw our knife through the uh, machine shop here. I can actually make a knife out of a piece of tin. I'll use the V-notch, and I'll use the open face, and I'll just cut the metal off of the piece of tin, small piece of flat bar, anything like that, and it is throwing the pieces. Just like that. I can use the back of a knife if I want to, a real knife. If you have a kitchen knife and you want to sharpen it for whatever reason, you just draw it through there like that. Okay, that's probably a minute. Not yet. Oops, hit the concrete. That's never good. Just like that. Okay, if I only have three minutes, i got to quit messing with that for a little while. And we're going to go along this way using the corners. So what are the corners? If it's flat, 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 I have two 90-degree corners. One right there and one opposite. 90-degree corners. I'm going to go ahead and bear down on it just a little. Make sure I work on cutting the wire edge off that I put on there while I was sharpening. I can feel it so I know it's there. All right, now let's start the light pressure. Even lighter. And then real light, 10 times each side. I'm not going to count. It might be 12. Right now I'm just polishing the cutting edge. Really make sure that I'm taking that wire edge off of there. And that does bite. So let's get our paper again. See, I cut more of the serrades off. That's sharp. I don't care who you are or what you're talking about. So can I make a butter knife sharp in uh, four minutes or less? I can make them sharp. But let's say I used six minutes, and I don't even know if I'm, I'm not even at six minutes yet. I'm only at two minutes and 21 seconds here. So, yeah, my sharpeners work. Uh, and for you, not understanding how they work might take you a little bit longer. But do understand, tungsten carbide corners, just like a mill or a lathe, will cut the metal off. Then it's just up to you, your brain, a little experience to figure out how to actually make a knife out of something that wasn't really a knife. This is Brad Buckner. Go to sharpens, excuse me, go to YouTube slash sharpens best. Check out the videos. Have a good day.